Hello there. Let's continue with our previous part from communication where we stopped before. This is now the word processor part. You're now going to edit a document called about Power Kite Sports. Use a suitable software package, load the file and then eks.rtf. RTF stands for Rich Text Box Format. It's a format that can be opened up in any word processor. So first of all, let's look at the file. Here we go. This is what the file is. We we'll open this up and it will open up in our default word processor document. It zoomed into 200%. You can see over here. I will take it back to 100% so that I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Set the size of the page to A4. So I'll come into the size and I'll set it to A4. Set the page orientation to landscape. Landscape. Set the top, bottom, left, right margins to 4 centimeters. First of all, I have to see that my measurements are in centimeters or not. No, they are in inches. So I have to change them in centimeters. For this, what I have to do is I have to go into Word Options, Advance. I locate Display over here. Once I find Display, I will change the measurements into centimeters. And here we go. Now I can set my margins according to the requirement. Here, what I have is four centimeters for all of them. So I'll set this to four, four, four. And four. We are not concerned with the gutter, but gutter basically means this is the <clears throat> margin that we'll leave for the binding. Whenever we have to do some binding, we'll leave this space for that. You can see over here if I increase this, I have some space which is left for binding. It is not included within the document, it's something extra. There we go. Right. Next. Save the document with a new file name in your work area. So I will say save as. I'll save it in my work area with a new file name. Um, I'll name it as document. Save it. Okay. It asks me for uh, telling me that it's a different version that you're saving in I'll say okay because that will not actually temper with any settings set all the text to serif font control a home tab and I'll set it to any serif font the best serif font that I will can choose over here will be new times roman or times new roman Look at this. There we go. There we go. Well, there are lots of other we can choose from. Times New Roman is one of the best that I like to use. Okay, then we have set all the text to single line spacing. Since everything is selected by Control A, I will come over here and I will set it to single line spacing. Right? Set the alignment of all the text to fully justify. Here we go. Fully justify. Set the swan size of all the text to 10 point. Alright. Place the header, your scanned number, and your center number left aligned. In the header, I'll choose the second option in the header because it gives me all three options so I have to write the candid number and center number left aligned sorry candid number and your center number so I can write over here uh, pk x y z and probably some other random number because I'm not a candidate an automated file name and path right aligned come here click over here home sorry insert quick parts field insert file name with the path okay right 
Ah, uh, presently you can see the path is coming too long. Well, it's not looking nice. So the best thing that I can do is I can save my document somewhere where the path will not be that long. So I'll save my files probably in the D drive. I'll save everything in the D drive. Here we go. Document production and I'll save it over here. Now if I insert the file name, the path will not be that long because it takes up the entire path. File name, there we go. Now it's simply a very short path because since it's being directly saved in the D drive. If you don't need this, so get rid of this. Right. Place in the footer. Okay. We'll now go in the footer. In the footer, what we'll do is an automated page numbering center line. Center, insert, page numbering, current position, any type of your choice. Here we go. Right. Today's date, right line. Right. Date, any date of your choice. Okay. We don't need anything here, so we simply delete it. Right. Make sure that all alignments match the page orientation and margins. Make sure everything is okay. Everything, no text is covering up some other text. Make sure of that. Make sure that there is a blank line 10 points high after each paragraph so that line spacing is consistent. So after every paragraph, I have to leave 10 point space since the size of my text is 10 you can see over here and if I press enter I have 10 point line spacing so after every paragraph I will leave 10 points line there we go after every paragraph done Recheck this point, maybe you missed some paragraphs, so you have to be really careful about this. Insert a blank line at the start of the document and enter the heading this. Insert a blank line at the, in, at the start of the document and enter the heading this. Blank line and enter this. Set the font size of the heading as 236. Add the text report by and add your name. Place this as a heading below the heading. So below the heading, you should have this report by sign Tarik. Set both the heading and subheading to sans serif font. Select both of them and set them to any of sans serif font. So over here, what I'll do is I'll simply select Microsoft Reference Sensor or MS Reference Sensor. Again, these are the most two typical that you'll find everywhere. So you can use them. You always find them in every computer where Windows has been installed. Make the subheading italic. Set the font size of the subheading at to 18. Underline the heading. Make both the heading and subheading right aligned. After the subheading, format the rest of the document into two equally spaced columns with one centimeter gap between them. So after this, I have one column over here right now you can see after this it should be distributed into two columns so what I do is I'll click over here come into page layout columns more columns two and one and all I do is this point forward so after this point I'll have two columns here we go ah it works right I'll hit delete because since I can see it has come one line above uh, so there you go it looks much better now right delete the paragraph that begins the power the school courses the power kite 
school courses you have to look at this in order to s power school sources here we go let's find here we go that's one of the best way to find it out and it ends with covered so here we go cut it or you can delete it change the list of the basic safety rule to be number list make sure the number list does not have any blank line spaces between the items it should include the text from do not attempt now let's see where it is 